So back in 2013, I um, received a LinkedIn message, which I totally thought was a scam because it was from Microsoft, <laughs> for um, my dream job. So it was the community development specialist here in South Florida. And when I saw that, I was super excited and um, also a little skeptical because I didn't re think that Microsoft would be, you know, LinkedIn messaging me. It was something that I wasn't searching for. You know, I, I never try to convince someone that it's a company they should do business with. I think it's really going back to the root of, you know, what are their needs and are, is our technology the right solution for them? And I think Miami as a community, when you look at sort of our ecosystem of technology and entrepreneurship, it's growing tremendously and uh, is sort of a beacon to sort of other cities. But one of the challenges with the developing ecosystem is that it's oftentimes difficult to communicate the power of the technology. Yeah, so uh, for me, it's about the partners that are within it. So I know Florida International University as well, like Mark Rosenberg, Saif. Um, I work with them consistently on sort of understanding the power of the academic sort of uh, approaches and challenges and new things that are being experimented within that environment and then a range of other organizations that are part of the chamber and it's been super helpful for me to be networked into those spaces so that we're able to, to my earlier point, engage in a partnership and a dialogue that's adding value to each other. Historically I feel like Microsoft is known for like their enterprise partnerships and really my role is to help small to medium sized businesses. So the Chamber has really been a great resource to help identify those organizations that are looking to scale. Um, and I love being the perfect, perfect, perfect person on site to really help them navigate through all of the resources that we have and the Chamber has been a great connection point. Uh, what I do personally, I mean, I think no, none of us would be in this work if we didn't care about the city and the community. So a lot of what I do is sort of spending my time outside, really finding a way to like mentor youth and um, a guardian at litem currently with the family court system, so working with kids in the foster care. Um, but then also too contributing to like positive conversations in our community. I think one of the perceptions of our community is that we're not as engaged and I think our volunteerism numbers show that but I do think there's a moment, series of momentum that's building underneath that I try to contribute to whether it's sort of uh, climate change conversations in the community, participating, showing up, hosting my own sessions and conversations, participating in my Miami story. Microsoft hired me three months pregnant and that's something that you can't say about a lot of companies. So last year, um, I launched a 501c3 non for profit organization called We Are Boss Mom that helps working moms navigate through um, their career journeys. So I definitely am um, excited about what's to come and I definitely am just so proud to be part of an organization that is looking to empower every person on the planet to achieve more. Yeah, I mean, I would say two things. The first is just sort of being radically transparent with sort of your challenges, and it goes to Brittany's point of uh, being open to sort of like setting boundaries. I think that's important, but also not hiding anything about sort of your interests and also sort of what your ambitions are. I think that's important. And then another thing um, is just sort of this idea of networking, uh, not seeing it as networking as sort of a discrete activity that happens in certain settings or uh, sort of happy hour events from young professionals. I think you should, like I've approached networking as relationship building and seeing it as something that you do with people that you respect and admire as opposed to people that you think you should admire. Um, I think it's important to see how uh, and important for younger people to know that your friends are the ones who are going to help you in your journey more than anyone else and if you're spending and investing time in networking with people that you don't really have that relationship with it's not going to pan out in the way you, you want, so cultivate the relationships that matter to you, whether or not you see value in it right now, because I think sort of the karma of that uh, activity really sort of is an investment that pays off longer term.